New video at 6, the owner of a craft brewery swept up in a legal battle against his local government is showing us what he calls his safety valve. He is referring to a new location in Madison, anticipating his shop in northern Wisconsin will be shut down in the weeks ahead. Yeah, NBC 15's Michelle Beck is live in the east side of Madison right now. Michelle, there's a legal and the owner says political battle going on now. Yeah, hi, Mark and Lee. The owner of Manaqua Brewing Company does not shy away from ex expressing his progressive political beliefs. I mean, right now we're standing inside a liquor store just next to that new taproom location. And look right here, the beer that comes out of this brewery is evidently political. I mean, just look at this. Labels like the Bernie Brew, obviously Bernie Sanders. Here we go. Kirk Bankstad opens the door to a new location for his brewery. We're going to put in a tiny little tap room. Writing the newest chapter in Madison, 200 miles from where his saga began in Oneida County in the town of Minocqua. Them shutting me down is, is a really, would be a really painful thing. In August, the county pulled his permit to run Minocqua Brewing Company. While he appealed the decision, Bankstead claims the move is in line with the string of ways the county and town have harassed him and hurt his business, Saul, as he's trying to bring a beer garden to life. They're trying to kill a business, the only craft brewery in the town, the oldest craft brewery in town. They're trying to kill my business because they don't like my politics. Two years ago, he says he hung this pro-Biden sign on his building. What followed were citations and ways he says he felt singled out. The county threatened to fine me for hang hanging a sign that was too big for county code. But it was ridiculous because everyone's seen around the entire state huge Trump signs. He since sued the town and county claiming a pattern of behaviors like authoritarian conduct and intimidation. While there is a future in store in Madison. I couldn't allow my business to be hijacked and shut down and not have another source of revenue other than selling to grocery stores and liquor stores. What Bankstead has dubbed the least popular place in town remains in jeopardy. I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight this until we win. And Bankstad says there could be a vote in the next few weeks that shuts down his business in Manaqua. And he hopes to open his business right next door here in Madison sometime by November, he says. And he chose Madison, he says, because of how popular his beer is here in the city. We're live in Madison. Michelle Beck, NBC 15 News. Michelle, thank you. The town of Manaqua declined to comment, and we're still waiting for a response from Oneida County.